So hello everyone and congratulations to every one of you watching this video. Like literally man, kudos to every one of you. Uh, we have reached a streak of day 100 today. So it was a very great journey with you, all of you guys. So let's start with this 100 day question. So for the 100 day, they have given the question as easy category. So let's begin. And if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe so that we can grow, maintain and maintain our streak like till eternity maybe <laughs> so the question of the name is minimum operations so given two numbers a and b in one operation you can pick any non-negative integer x and either a or b okay so you can pick any integer x or either a or b so now if you pick yeah if you picked a then you replace a with a and x and else if you pick b then you replace b with b and x return the minimum of op number of operations required to make a and b equal here and represents the pitwise and operations these are the test cases for 5 and 12 they are saying that if i took an integer 4 and i took a in the first operation they took the integer a that is a and 4 that is 5 and 4 gives 4 whereas 12 and 6 gives 4 right okay okay so they chose the integer first as 4 and then second as 6 and if the, if that is same then we return 0 and the expected time comes to 1 great okay so one thing i know regarding the bitwise operator is that if we have i'm talking in respect of zor right now not respect of and because i know that thing so if i do a zor b and if it comes to let's say x then i can say that x zor a will be b and x zor b that is a uh, i know this logic because i solved this question in one code shift long challenge and if you like verify it also then it will work it for you let's say you have taken 5 and 12 and if you do the ZOR so it will be 101 and 1100 if you do the ZOR then ZOR is what ZOR is what for the 1001 it returns 1 if the both bits are flipped if both bits are same it returns 0 right so for this thing it will return 1 it will return 1 it will be 0 0 and uh, it will be 1 so 1 0 0 1 so now I'm saying that for X ZOR A I'm saying that 9 ZOR A that is 5 so that will be 101 one. if I do the ZOR it will be 1100 zero, zero, right you can see this is nothing but equals to 12 that is B now if I do the 9 ZOR 12 then it will be nothing but 101 one. that is nothing equals to 5 right you can see here but uh, what can we say in terms of AND so suppose let's uh, let's define the cases right so the first case will be that if I do A ZOR B like a and b if i do it or let's say the base cases will be if the given is a equals equals to b if it is given then i will just say that there is no more steps required just return zero right but if generic like in generally if i say that x is equals to a and b then can i comment something like is there any relation right like any relation on x with respect to a or b like can we can we see any range of x that uh, with it is respect to a and b like can we say something like that so let us find one thing let us do one operation of 7 and 12 so if i do it so it will be 1 1 1 and it will be 1 1 0 1 right if i do it it will be 1 1 0 1 right okay so if I do the AND operation, it will be 1, 1, 1, it will be 1, 0, 0, and this was all 0, 0, right? Uh, let me think. So it was this 0. It will be 1, 1, 1, it will be 1, 0, 0. If I closely look, if I closely look, this was the something that was pointing to 12, this was something that pointing to 12, 12, right? 7 and 12. If I closely look that if both bits were 1, if both bits were 1, then only I am saying that it is 1. But whenever whenever is there is something that is saying that i am alternative that is one or zero then what i am updating it as zero and zero is nothing but the actual bit that is present in one of the in one of the integers that is a and b right so right so what i can say similarly for the other things that if zero and one then i can say zero then i can say that the number that is coming is actually if, if I say that the number that is coming if I am considering that there is zero in my answer zero as a bit in my answer then definitely definitely this number 
is not equals to the maximum of a and b that is maximum of a and b is what 12 and minimum of a and b is nothing but 7 i can say that this x is nothing has to do with this number nothing I cannot derive any relation. Why? Because I am considering at every part that wherever one a zero is coming in either of the bit, in either of the corresponding bit of the both the integers, I am taking the zero all apart, right? I'm taking the zeroth part. So that means that it has no relation in the answer has no relation with the range of the maximum of a and b. I hope you are getting this point, right? So that means it would must have it must have the relation with the minimum, right? If I'm considering zero. So what can I say? What can I say if I find x? X is nothing but uh, what? It is five, right? So I can say that. Uh, let's say if uh, there are two cases. Let's say the minimum was here. The minimum is let's say a here, or let's say the minimum is b here, and then we have the minimum in a in these two cases. Then I can say that the x belongs to the range of. I, I will take the inclusive brackets from zero to b. And in this say, I will say that x will belongs to the range of 0 to a. I hope you are getting this point. I can say that. I can say that, right? So for example, if you consider it would be like 5 and 3, that is 1. And if you see that 1 has nothing to do with the greater integer, but it lies in the range of 0 to the minimum of 5 and 3. Similarly, if you take a case of 10 and 12, then it is equals to 8. So 8 has no relation with the maximum of 10 and 12, but it has a relation that it will always be in the range of 0 to the minimum of 10 and 12, that is 0 and 10. I hope you're getting this point. That's point. This point is very crucial, right? So, when while I'm saying that this is the inclusive range, this is the inclusive range 0 to 10, 0 to 3 is the inclusive range, 0 to b is the inclusive range. That means that there may be a point that if I find a and b, it exactly goes equals to the minimum of a and b right it can go it can go right so can we can we think of any case for which it satisfies our this condition right let me think let me take a number let's say we were taking 12 right so let me take 12 as a number and second number mm, let me take it as 2 right and i will do the or and operation so it will be 0 0 and 0 1 1 and 1 and this is nothing but a zero written here so it will be zero and zero and as you can see that we did 12 and 2 and we get 2 as answer right so our point is thus proven that if a and b is equals to x then x will have the range of zero to the minimum of this a and b right this point is proven here i hope you are able to understand this point this point is the main logic of our code okay okay so our second case second case will be that if a and b is equals equals to math dot min of a and b right so if that's the case then already already the integers are matched right already the integers are matched so i can say that i will just take if that's the case then i can say that okay i'm picking a random variable i'm picking I'm picking let's say a and I'm I'm uh, and I'm taking a random variable x as b right x as b and I'm doing this or and it is coming as the minimum of one such character so I'm saying that I can complete this job is just, is just one step I can say that I hope you're getting this point I hope you're getting this point okay okay so there goes our second case so what will be our third case then Third case will be that we are not getting an exact answer. We are getting a range answer. Let's say for this thing that we have this seven and 12. So when we did the seven and 12, X become as five, which nothing but belongs in the range of inclusive range of zero to the minimum of A and B, right? That is confirmed here. So the third case is signifies that we need to find something such that we need to find this thing or any such integer that if we do the operation of let's say a is equals to a and b then can we do something or can we think something in perspective of that a and x what it will be similarly because why i'm doing this why i'm doing this that's also a very good point because i know this thing about this odd thing i was i i was knowing this thing that a or b is x then x or a is b and x or b is a so there may be some relation with if i do a a and x and if i do with b and x right 
so like uh, like if 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 i talk in the perspective of a very beginner programmer like or let's say if i would have not known this relation then i would have definitely like look into the hint but since i was doing this this relation i was just thinking in that manner only because each and every question is at the end relatable right okay so i tried to find a and x so is there any possibility there is there any possibility so x is nothing but x is nothing but if i took the help from above thing x is nothing but 5 that is equals to 7 and 12 so if i find a and x that is 1 1 1 1 is getting and with 1 0 1 that is it and if i found the and operation it will be 1 here it will be 0 here it will be 1 here and if i find 1 1 0 0 right with the 1 0 1 1 it is nothing but b that is pointing to 12 this is nothing but x that is pointing to 5 right and if i try to do the and operation now it will be zero here it will be zero here it will be one here it will be zero here right am i right let me see okay so uh, sorry there was a problem 7 and 12 it is zero it is zero here right it is zero here and it will become as zero so x is nothing but 4 right so as you can see the point still holds that 4 belongs to 0 to 7 sorry for that this discrepancy okay So what I'm doing is I'm always doing and with four. I'm always doing and with four, right? So it will be one zero zero, and it will be one zero zero. If you clearly, if you observe, then this this answer is actually was equals to x, and this was actually equals to x. So I'm able to deduce that if x is equals to a and b, then I can say that a and x will also be equals to x, and then b and x is also equals to x. So like is it happening for just this case or it's like generic can we comment anything on that so if i say that if a and b is equals to x then can i say in some theory that why a and x is equals to x can you say something by like like i'm still not able to understand can you say something like some sentences which will help me so if you see here if you see that x is what x is nothing but the result of comparison of a and b right comparison of a and b like the corresponding bits of a and b so what i can say is that if if particular bit of x is one let's say is one particular bit of x is one then i can say that the corresponding bit of a and b were also one were also one because we were doing we were doing and operation as you can see that corresponding bit of a and b should be equals to one then only x will be equals to one right now the third point will be that if particular bit of let's say x not let's say it's x is equals to zero then that means that the corresponding bit of a was equals to zero corresponding bit of a or b or a and b or both or let's say or both were zero that would be the only case as you can see here that a a is equals to 1 b is equal to 2 but you get the zero as answer and if it would have been the vice versa or both would have been zero then also we would get the x bit as zero right i hope you are getting to this point so if i say net now considering these three points if i say that if i perform x and a now then the resultant bit will also be zero here here in this card in this part resultant bit will also be zero result will be also equals to zero right so from here i can say that x and a is equals to a now let me give you a very good example also in this case now let me do let me give give you the relation between three points here so what i am doing that if x and a i am doing the x and a so if you see here that x that a was equals to 7 that a was equals to 7 here let me take a different color a was equals to 7 here but in 7 the first bit was 1 right and in the x and a i am getting as 0 again so this 0 is not is responsible because the x was 0 right it's not because our a was 0 right similarly i can say that if i am getting this thing uh 1 and 0 so if i if i say that i will get this is uh this is what this is uh, okay 
Hmm. Similarly, I can say that in the B thing, in the B thing, this was actually one. B was saying that I am a particular bit, I am one, but X was saying that I am a, I, at a particular bit, I am zero. So the resultant is coming as X, right? As you can see, the, since we are doing and, then the resultant answer is coming as X, right? So that means that either we do A and X, we, we have the answer of X only. Either we do B and X, then, then also we have the answer as X only, right? So that means if the, if second case is not there that a and b is equals to the minimum of a and b because that's the range for the x it goes from minimum uh, zero to the minimum of a and b so if that's not the case then we can say then what we can say is that i am picking an integer that i am picking an integer an integer that is pointing to a and b this will be my first move i picked an integer which is actually a and b so in this case 7 and 12, in this case, 7 and 12, let me change my color. I am picking an integer. I pick an integer that is a and b, and that is equals to 4 here, right? And then I'm pick after picking this integer, I picked here. Yeah, the move was to pick any 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 number, right? So I pick 5 and I do it, did it and with 4 and it gives me 4. This is my first move. Second move with the same integer, I pick b as my number and I did 12 and 4 that gives us 4 and I can see now the both numbers are equal right so that's the whole intuition here that's the only three case we need to code in the solution okay so if you see that there are only three if statements and we just have to we can do this code in O of 1 so let's do that this video this question is actually easy but I still took 16 minutes to explain it to you guys because I would have just explained you the code that there are three if statement and you can do it but that would have not been uh, able to help you in developing your skills right that's why i uh, researched and made this video just for you guys so that you can understand each and every statement that why is it happening how is it happening okay so if a is equals equals to b then there is nothing that is written zero there is no steps required now if a and b is equals equals to the minimum of any integer the minimum of the a and b a comma b right so let me put this in the parenthesis so in that case the uh, in that case we just need one move right that i'm picking an integer that is a and b and it already gets equals to the existing integers right that is what i what i meant that let's say for this 12 and 2 uh, if i just write this example for example we have this integer a comma b is 2 then what i did i picked i picked x as 2 and element as a right and i did the and i did the and operation and operation that that means i did a is equals to a and x that is nothing equals to 12 and 2 and it is now converted to 2 so now is a is converted to 2 and b is already 2 right so that's why i just move, need move one just need one move here the second case the third case i explained it to you or let's say we write it in the else part so i can just say that else return 2 right else part return to right so this will run this will run this will compile and run for all the test cases or 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 let me write it precisely so that you can understand that uh, that i that that all the things that i was talking talking it was actually true so let me write this as there was only three cases if both are equals to b and i was i said that if a and b is equals to x then the range of x will be in the minimum in minimum of a comma b so we understand the second if so let me write it as this that if a uh let me write it as this, as this. so there was only third case left now that if a and b will obviously will be greater than zero greater than equals to zero it will be and and a and b would be in the range of math dot min a comma b this was the only case left in this case we need to return to 
we need to return two and uh, since the integer type since the return type is the int so let's write a statement of return zero so i think this if is making more sense now instead of writing of just else here right okay so that's it so let's hit the submit button now so that 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 is the reason my videos are long because i don't want to piss, miss any part so let us see so as you can see the problem ran successfully and it is success successfully submitted the time complexity will be o of 1 and i hope you are uh, able to uh, bear with me till this long and if you were then you must have learned some very new things here right instead of just running the code and getting the output so that's it this is uh, the enclosure of our day hun day 100 of our GFGPOT this week we'll meet again tomorrow for day 101 and few last thing that that's my re DSA repository you can start in full detail with the source code also in the comment section I saw one of you have mentioned that here please guide me on the placement thing so the, uh, just for that purpose only I just made this channel this public account as well as my LinkedIn you can connect me there for any doubts or guidance if you may have and our YouTube family is actually growing very well now we have yeah, our family of 768 soon we'll be touching 1000 subscribers so kudos to every one of one of us joining in this journey and we will resume our video uh, tomorrow with the uh, full energy with the full motive to maintain our streak so that's it for today till then keep learning keep growing and take care and bye bye